Hi folks, I'm Bryony Thomas. I'm the author and founder here at Watertight Marketing. And I've put a new um, blog uh, article over on our website today and I'm here to tell you about it. Because we hear so often from the businesses that we work with that they struggle to make time for marketing. And so today, over on the blog, you will find an article called Making Time for Marketing with a, a Default Diary. So first of all, let's ask ourselves, why is it so hard to make time for marketing? Our clients are typically step-up businesses where there's an abundance of potential and ambition, but it's balanced out with an almost equal and opposite scarcity of capacity and budget. It is increasingly difficult to make time for marketing in this context, and there are so many reasons. This list is not exhaustive, but these are the things I came up with. You're stuck on the yo-yo. You're oscillating between finding new customers and then delivering to those customers. Perhaps you're an expert in what your business does, but you're not an expert in sales or marketing. You've not done a business degree, and you tend to find yourself falling into the bit that you know. In a small and growing businesses, roles are really fluid. People pick up a variety of tasks and they just things that need doing rather than having clearly defined responsibilities. And often marketing is one of those things that just falls through the cracks. If you're in a pre-profit or break-even growth phase, it can be really hard to justify spending money or time on activities that aren't in and of themselves revenue generating. It might just be that your entrepreneurial character has you looking right out to the big picture and you don't really have the energy or enthusiasm for the day-to-day -day stuff. And sometimes marketing is about routine. It's about rolling your sleeves up and getting it done. And that might not appeal to the entrepreneurial visionary. It might be that you're so attached to your business that you can't trust people to present it to the world. We often talk about our businesses being our babies, don't we? And letting them go or, or trusting somebody else to do something with that business can feel like let, trusting someone with your baby. Maybe you've tried marketing and it didn't work, so you're just not willing to put time to things that you can't see a result for. Maybe you're sticking to the personal selling or hustling that's worked for you. And then the other thing we see is sometimes people find it hard to delegate because they think, well, I could do this myself. And you don't want to pass it on to somebody else, but you never get round to it. This is the cobbler's children. My dad was a builder. Our house was never finished. These, we see this time and time again. That's not an exhaustive li list. Do tell me how, why you struggle to make time for marketing. Or if you've overcome it and you make fantastic time for marketing, do tell us that too. I would absolutely love to hear about it. So why should we, with all the competing priorities in an ambitious and growing business, why do we all need to make time for marketing? I count myself amongst these. Lots of those reasons are reasons that I give myself. But it would make your journey smoother if you invest in marketing. There is no point in your business growth where time for marketing will just appear. So sometimes what we hear is people say, well, when I've hit this target, then I'll make some time for marketing. And actually that needs to be turned around, which is make some time for marketing, you're more likely to hit that target. Three reasons why focusing on marketing now rather than later is going to be really important in your entrepreneurial journey. And again, this is not an exhaustive list. But a marketing grown business is a scalable business. If you've hustled your way there or there's a key individual in your team who's a superb salesperson, that isn't scalable. There's nothing wrong with a bit of early hustle and sales skills are essential. But for that to be scalable, it needs to be underpinned with a system. And that's a marketing system that can deliver day in and day out. The second is that a scalable business is a saleable business. If you're looking to exit or get an investment, you're going to need to demonstrate cause and effect. So if your investor or potential acquirer is looking at your business and thinking, well, you know, these are a few lucky moves or um, this was a big deal, one big deal that um, could, might not be replicated. That's going to be a difficult acquisition or investment proposition. Having a clear and confident approach that can be described that shows how you deliver consistent sales conversions, much more investable. And then the third reason that people often um, don't think about is that you're going to attract the right people to your business. Of course, attracting customers, but also the team. As you grow your business, building a talented team is almost more important than winning customers because it's, they are your business. And the brightest talent is going to be drawn to those businesses who stand out, who share their values and really look like they're going places. And marketing is one of the things that will do that for you. 
So the next thing I'm going to say, and there are lots of ways that you make time for marketing, but the next thing I'm going to say is do this now. Create yourself a default marketing diary. The first thing to do is to create your marketing baseline. You can use the Watertight Marketing book and workbooks, which you can claim for free over on our website. That will help you with tools and templates to create your baseline marketing plan. And a baseline marketing plan is a drumbeat. It's the, it's the lowest level of marketing you'll ever, ever do. It's the default activity, things that you will do come what may. Think about it as your heartbeat or rhythm, because things that live and grow have rhythm. Once you've decided on what that baseline activity plan is, you need to turn that into a diary, a default diary. So we've scoped out over on the blog a three month view where you put in two days in every quarter, one day in every month, half a day in every week and half an hour in every day. And what we're challenging people over in our Facebook group to do this month and in our Members Club Plus and Work Group guided by Cheryl Crichton next week, which you're very welcome to join, is that we're challenging people to create this default diary. And there are four things you need to do. Create your baseline marketing activity plan, which is choosing a tool or a technique for every step of the sale. Within that, identify all recurring tasks. For each recurring task, create yourself a checklist so that you're never starting with a blank sheet of paper and then block out into your diary when those recurring tasks are going to happen within that two day per quarter, one day per month, half a day per week and half an hour per day. This is a decision you make. Anyone who's done anything on productivity will know that time management is really an exercise in prioritization. It's what you choose to do. If you're not doing it, it's because you're not prioritizing it. Like fitness, you just need to decide to carve out the time. And if you never do this, it's a choice you're making. And if you've never done marketing consistently, getting into that habit, it can be tough, like getting into a fitness regime. In the book Habit, I'm told that it takes 66 days of consistent recurring behavior for it to become habit. That's two business quarters. So our challenge for you in July is to set yourself a quarterly default diary. And the challenge to you is to use that default diary for two business quarters and make it habit. Because when market becomes a healthy habit, like fitness, it becomes addictive and your business will be scalable, saleable, and you will attract the best people. All that details over on the blog and you can join us by registering your copy of Watertight Marketing and joining our Facebook group where I'm going to be helping everyone this month to get that default diary done. Let us know how you get on with it. Bye.